Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna do a uh, this little tri tip. Uh, this was uh, got sent out to me from Kyle Alex, uh, one of my subscribers, uh, great supporter. Uh, he sent out two of these. These I'm gonna. This one I'm gonna do on the old smoky um, grill. The other one I'm probably gonna end up smoking. But this is already pre marinated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut into it and. Uh, Put it on the grill. I'm gonna try to get this. Looks like silver skin. Try to get that right off, if I can. About everything now. Let's get this little sticker right here. All right, there you go. All right, let's put this on the on the grill. All right, I got the old smoking uh, set up for two zone cooking. I banked all my charcoals to one side. There's nothing on the other side. I did add a piece of uh, mesquite wood on top just to give it a little bit more uh, smoking flavor. Other than that, let's get this on the fire. I'll let that stir for a couple of minutes. Then I'll get the tongs and flip it over a couple of times. And uh, we will uh, keep an eye on it. And then I'll, I'll get my temperature probe on it to uh, make sure it's nice, uh, medium rare. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's take a look at this. a little bit to the grate. I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit before I can uh, flip it. Uh, hopefully it'll release without any, any issues. There we go. So we know when you're done. It's only been two or three minutes. I'm gonna give it like Three or four minutes on this side. I'll bring it right back. Oh. All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, oh, excuse me. Let's take a look at this track tip. It's trying to get a little color here. I'm gonna keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep flipping it uh, as needed to get it cooked through all the way through and to the color that I want. I really want some uh, char up here on top. Once I get to that color, I'm just gonna put it up here um, on the cooler side where there's no charcoal burning, and I'll just let it right out till it gets to uh, uh, medium rare. I'll bring you right back for that. All right, I'm gonna give you a different look, different angle. There we go, look at that.
Let me get a quick reading on this. Alright, 87 in the center, 90, I think 84 in the center here, we still got quite a bit to go, but what I want to do is get, make sure I get this little char on top, like I said before, I'm going to turn it so I can get uh, some fire on the sides, make sure uh, all that gets uh, nicely uh, cooked down. Bring it back in a bit. So this cooked down pretty good. Uh, both sides are looking pretty well. What I'm gonna do is uh, keep on over here for the rest of the uh, cook until it gets up to temperature 145. Uh, in, in turn is what I'm looking for for medium rare. It's still not there. It's just barely got on over 100. So I'm gonna just leave it here for a little while. I'll bring it back once it's 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 uh, down to temperature. Alright, I, as you can see, I, I, uh, I turned the tri-tip a little bit, uh, so that the thinner side is closer away, or away from the fire, only because it was already tempting at 120, it was about 110, so I'm, I'm trying to keep it as even as possible, and try to reach that, uh, 145 internal. I'll bring it back, uh, once it temps. Alright, there's... Take a look at it. I just flipped it. Oh yeah. Yeah, 144, 146. Alright, let's go ahead and pull this. I have it back on the on the cutting board. I forgot to bring out my uh, aluminum paper, so I'm gonna just cover it with some butcher paper for a little bit and rest it for about 10 minutes before I got into it. All right, it's rested for 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and uh, unwrap it here. Look at that. I'm looking for the grain. Grains are going this way here, so I'm going to cut against it until I get over here. Then I'll turn it around and cut cut it then. I'm going to leave it on the card on the uh, on the paper. Tip. Yep. Here. Give it a try. Let me see what, what you think. It's good. Good. All right. Let me get some more slices down and uh, we can eat. The tri tip came out super moist and tender as can be. It's a great, great cut. I'm glad I have two of these. I will be making the other one pretty soon. That is good, man. Mm. 
Is that from your uh, package? Mm-hmm. The one I got yesterday? Mm-hmm. Yep. One of them. The other one I'll do later. Mm. And how long does it take you to cook? This was uh, pretty fast. I did it on the, on the, on the grill. Uh -huh. And it's like uh, maybe 15 minutes. All right, I'm gonna finish uh, carving this up and we're gonna eat pork. All right, I forgot to add that. Uh, Kyle also sent me uh, some of their barbecue sauce. Uh, this is a place uh, that I got the uh, tripe it sent to from. Uh, seaside Market. Oh, uh, what does that say? Cardiff, California. I tried some on the. I'll just try to just a little bit. Oops. <laughs> or a lot. <laughs> All right, here's your fork. Grab it. And let me know what you think about it. Oh, I mean, grab your piece of steak there. <laughs> yeah, it has a rich flavor for barbecue. All right, let me get a piece right here. Damn good sauce. Not overly spicy like the brands we see on the show. Yeah, this is just a little hit of pepper. Other than that, it's very nice uh, barbecue sauce. All right, folks, uh, we're going for real. We're gonna go finish the rest of this and have a good night. So I'll see y'all later. Bye. All right, I had to make me a taco with some of uh, this uh, chimichurri sauce that I had bought before. Uh, yeah, no plate or anything, but I just had to try it. But I'm going to head and leave you all here until next time. Adios. Mm -hmm.